gone viral. He's an attorney, according to the information. Here it is. Sir, for what reason? For what reason? For what reason did you take my wig off? Because what what made you think that that was the good thing to do? What made you think that that was the good thing to do? For what? For what? Why did you do that? What makes you think that that's okay? Is that funny? Is that funny? You don't even follow me. Are you, do you hit women or something? Why did you take my wig off and keep walking? For what, sir? Why? Why? Just say it. Why did you take my wig off and just walk away? Please, please, please. Because what? Why? Please, 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 please. Nah, have a nice one. Have a nice day. You, you're nice to him. He needs somebody to be his ass. I'm dead ass. Let's put up the picture full mass. A viral video posted by musician. Lizzie, Lizzie Ashley showed the aftermath of a man who allegedly snatched her wig off in the middle of the street and continued to walk away without even offering an apology. Now, obviously, that seems to be an insane story. The man has now been identified as lawyer Anthony Orlick of Leader Birkin. Kalio and Silverstein, LLP, law firm. According to a statement released by the firm, he has now been fired. They say, and I quote, we have been made aware of a video of a non-work related incident involving one of our associates circulating on social media. We take seriously any inappropriate behavior by any employee. Whether inside or outside the workplace, this associate is no longer with the firm. Put his picture back up. I want to say this because you have to understand there's context we likely do not know. And even if we did know the context, we would not understand it. Because I cannot imagine any justification for walking up to a woman and snatching off her wig, physically assaulting. A human being, they seem to have no history. There seems to be genuine confusion by the victim and those who saw the incident unfold. But you have to wonder if a person who has went to school for that many years, individual who has worked to obtain a professional license to practice law, very difficult thing to do. To risk all of everything you have ever worked for in order to engage in this kind of activity, this kind of hatred is something, well, let's just say special. He's been exposed. It is now part of the public narrative of his life. I am sure that there's a conversation that he will have to have with the bar committee. But where is this coming from? Who is emboldened to do something like this against another human being and you are a practicing attorney. You know more law than most. You understand the rules of engagement better than a majority of Americans. And you also are aware of your professional conduct responsibilities. Who would submit all of that voluntarily? Put all of that on the line voluntarily in order to engage in what I call an action of hate. Sharing thoughts. Someone who doesn't care about the person they attacked. And by the way, I could care less that he lost his job, good that he did. But some other law firm will be dumb enough to hire this fool after he, I guess, steps in front of the bar committee. This, the law firm's wrong in their statement on this too, Dr. Ritchie. It's not inappropriate. It's a violent, lawless act by this fool. Violent, lawless act. Anybody who thinks it's funny should probably catch the same hands as this fool, this perp deserved. Okay, that, that's for starters, but I noticed there wasn't an ex-Marine who swooped in and put him in a chokehold or anything. Good thing for that, but he deserves to be punished to the fullest extent of the law. This is assault. Yeah, and that's the part typically missing in stories like this. You will get the professional response. He may have to write an essay to the bar, right? Hell, he may even get suspended. 
but he's supposed to be arrested. That's assault. If you do that, if you engage in physical, unwanted physical combat or contact, that is assault. It is against the law. And you make a great point about the statement from the law firm. Clearly, the law firm is aware unwanted physical contact is battery or assault. Their associate was more than inappropriate. 